Right, well, Doctor Who and the Space Pirates, which I haven't seen. I haven't listened to the audio tape, but I gather a lot of you have. Um, what do I remember about it? Well, for some reason, I had grown this awful Beatles-type Viva Sapata moustache. That is real. I know it looks phony and stuck on, but it was me. You know, I'd grown it from my own hormones. Um, now, I, I've been signing autographs downstairs today, and it all says technician pen. Now, I remember the part being called navigator pen. A bit grander than technician pen. Maybe I've been sort of in my imagination making it a grander part than it was. Or have I been downgraded? I don't know. So somebody out there could research this maybe. Was it navigator pen or technician pen? Uh, I remember quite a lot about it actually, um, considering it was so long ago. First of all, I got the part not long after my first child, my eldest son was born after a little spell out of work. I mean, uh, I've been very fortunate in my career, not been out of work too many times, but this came at the worst time, you know, my being a dad for the first time and baby on the way and I had bought a house and I think my mortgage was 32 pounds a month, which to me seemed enormous at the time. Shows how long ago that was. What could he get for 32 pounds a month? And uh, wonderful director, Michael Hart. I remember a very nice man with a beard. I don't think I even had an interview. I can't remember. Anyway, I got part six episodes. Was it six episodes? Maybe seven. I got six episodes. Oh, it was like winning the pools, as far as I was concerned. Suddenly I could paper those nappies and all that kind of thing. And um, Fraser Hines was in it, I think. I think Wendy Padbury was in it. There was an actor called Brian Peck was in it. I don't know if he's still with us. Dudley Foster, who was an actor, a sort of favourite actor of mine. One of the used to play sinister parts was suddenly died. Uh, Jack May, who passed on, he went into the Archers, he was in it. Had a beautiful, lovely voice, a very mellifluous voice, Jack May. Ooh, I'm trying to think now. Um, who else was in it? Jack May, Brian Peck. Uh, I, remember, I remember it quite clearly, you know, all the sort of socialising. I don't remember much about the episodes, actually. I don't remember the story particularly, I just remember the, the social side. I mean, I'd been an actor, what, I suppose, best part of five, six, maybe seven years. I've been out of drama school and I'd done a bit of telly, but it was a, a cachet for me to be in Doctor Who, and clearly I didn't know how important it was. Here I am. How many years later? 28, 38, 38 years later sitting and being interviewed about Doctor Who, which was really a very minor part of my life. But I have to say, the same thing happens with a lot of my work. I mean, um, It Ain't Half Hot Mum was only two series and maybe two years, two and a half years of my life, and uh, it's amazing how people remember it. For me, it was just a very small part of my life, you know, compared with other things I've done. Uh, but I feel very privileged, you know, to be part of this Doctor Who club. I wouldn't be here today talking to you, and um, you never know when you take a job what it's going to lead to. Who would have thought that all these years later it's become a cult? So I am part of a cult. I've often been called something like a cult, but they're not quite pronounced that way. That's all I remember. <laughs>